Hi, this is Jamie from CoolSmartphone.com and this is our review of PressReader for the iPad. PressReader is an application used for downloading newspapers from countries all over the world. As you can see here, there's a massive choice of different countries from around the world. So let's go down here and let's go into the USA just to give you an example. As you can see, you've got some of the most well-known newspapers, the Washington Post, the New York Post, Let's select the Chicago Sun-Times and there's different options available such as automatically delivering new issues, downloading, you can also go in and you can change the date and you can go back up to a week to get different issues. As you can see the downloads are pretty fast and once they are downloaded they're displayed in this nice news rack which is quite handy for seeing all your different issues. Reading the newspapers is very simple. You open them up and as you can see here this is what the page would look like on the printed version of the Guardian. At the bottom you can swipe through so as you can jump straight into a different page you can skip past pages you don't want to read and this is what the front page would look like on today's printed Guardian. A little hard to see here on the video, but text is completely legible on the Retina Display iPad. But if you have an iPad 2 or an iPad 1, you can go into Smart Flow mode, which will allow you to scroll through and display the text in a more readable format. For people who are visually impaired, PressReader also has a very good function that allows the app to read you the page that you're on just now. So let's listen into an example of that. Cavalryman who survived IRA attack found dead with children after split. Former soldier caught up in a Hyde Park bombing dog walker finds bodies on quiet Hampshire Lane. Stephen Morris. An ex-cavalryman who survived an infamous IRA attack apparently stabbed. Swiping from page to page is very fast, very smooth. Um, as I said, the text is very legible without being zoomed in at all. And there's lots of different settings available as well, such as auto delivery. Um, if you don't want full screen or smart zoom or smart flow enabled, you can switch all of them off if you just want a more clean reading experience. Overall I think the app is great. It does somewhat replicate newsstand functionality but there's a lot of newspapers in here that aren't available on the iTunes store. I could see this being very handy for someone who is perhaps abroad and doesn't have access to the regular newspapers that they would normally read. So if there's a newspaper that you are looking for and it's not available on the iTunes store Give PressReader a try, have a look and see if it's there.